My name's Richard Harris, I'm retired, and I now really am a performance poet. That's what I do. I love writing poems and I have two or three different ways of writing them. Some of them, usually anecdotal comedy, comes out of silly little things that I've just seen and, and I start getting an idea and it forms and it's relatively easy. But then I tackle serious things. I've written about homelessness and suicide. I've written about historical figures. Uh, people of the Tudors and the Plantagenets and that takes an awful lot of plotting. Sometimes um, I hear a, a story or an idea and I, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning and, and it's more or less coming, it's there and I have to get up and type it up. I was flattered and pleased. She stood up, gave up her seat to the old guy, me. Um, I perform in Hull all over the place. I perform at the Jazz Bar a lot. Um, that's the current one that I go to a lot. Uh, an amazing place on Princess Avenue, uh, away with words at the Union Mashup. That's fantastic. I perform in Beverly and Cottingham, but I keep getting requested to be a guest in places like York, Harrogate, um, Ripon, Chesterfield, Sheffield. It's not exactly Vegas, but it's, um, it's moving my word out. And two of my poems have recently been adapted into an amazing uh, award-nominated play in Harrogate called Haunt and it's about homelessness. I've just spent the last three weeks going backwards and forwards to Harry because I recorded some of the voice parts for the background. And then, I mean, I'm not the author of the play, that's two amazing poets, Becky Cherryman and Steve Tose, but they've incorporated two of my poems into the play and one of them is central and it's about my sister. And it was amazing. My sister's been dead 19 years and to see an actress play her with my words was wow. I went inside this charity shop and did buy both of these great tops. Now this was a great inconvenience to me as I could not now buy the food intended for tea. In fact, I'd have to make a second trip to the shop. I am always interested in the city of culture. It's a, a marvellous thing. Hull is so exploding with talent, I can't believe it. The, last night I was at the jazz bar and there were singer-songwriters, there were some amazing people. There's great spoken word, great poetry, great art, great drama, great groups, great sculpture. I'm missing something out, but everywhere I go it's amazing. I have a YouTube channel, it's RC Poems, just Google RC Poems, no spaces. R for Richard, C for Charles. Um, and I initially put a poem on it called Pirate Izzy, which was about a game my granddaughters, who are now five and seven, but were then about three and five, uh, play. And we run around the house and we rescue every doll or cushion. And it's amazing what we do and the fun we have. And we still play it. Um, and my mum died when I was 14. And I don't remember her voice now. Um, and the only thing I have of hers that is personal is a letter that she wrote to another aunt. And it's, it's not about love or emotion, it's about buying carrots in the market and things like that. So I thought, let me start this channel because these games that I play are so important to me and to Izzy and to Lara um, that I would love them when they're older and when they're grandmas themselves and I've been long gone to be able to put me on the telly and listen to me and say to their grandkids, this is my beloved granddad, and he t made this story up about us, and this really happened, you know. And so that's how it started. And I thought I'd get a couple of hundred hits. And I have uh, several poems with thousands of hits. And um, I, this week I'd passed 58,000 hits on YouTube, and I'm blown away if Rihanna or... Um, Madonna issued a single and had 58,000 hits, they'd probably be upset and depressed if Madonna cared, I don't suppose she would. But um, for me, writing poems, uh, which might be called Vera Loves Withensee, uh, I think it's pretty amazing. 